Premier League title right now, three teams are actually contesting for the title, and uh, which City is leading by two go- uh, two points in the league table, followed by Arsenal and also Liverpool. A lot of people were thinking Liverpool don't have much competition or much uh, uh, competition in, in so uh, uh, in the season so far because Europa is not considered as one of the biggest competition. They were considered the perfect team to win the title, but they bottle it in the weekend against Crystal Palace. And hey, they are not able to top the league again. And right now, they are out of the Europa as well. Manchester City and Arsenal, who were actually uh, counted maybe second and third position because they are playing Champions League, are also out of the Champions League competition right now. And now it's a game of thrones which team could probably win the league title. City have the advantage, but the mentality of being knocked out of Champions League, we are still waiting to see how they'll be reacting in tomorrow's game against uh, Chelsea. So that we could be able to determine whether they are still the favourite going into the game because it's not easy to be knocked out at Champions League at this point, to come back again, to be able to win a title of just Premier League. Guys, what do you think is who is favourite to win the Premier League title? Last time I started with Nana Kwame. This time I'm going to start with Sami. For sure, let me know your opinion on that. And also you can go into details to the various teams why you think anyone is going to actually win the league title or place first, second and third position. Okay, thank you very much, Ashley. Um, Considering this season as a whole, if you had asked me initially, who is going to take the English Premier League? I would have chosen Man City and I'll still choose Man City. Why? Because of the consistency of this team. This team have showed the whole world of the qualities they have and how to play along. Unfortunately, they have lost some quality, as I mentioned yesterday. They have lost some quality, but that notwithstanding, they still prove to show us that they 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 know what they are about. Um, let me first talk about Arsenal. Ateta has done a good job bringing these guys together, trying to play very good football. Last season, we saw how they are very close in winning the trophy until they bottled it up. Same show. Ateta has taken the Arsenal team for almost six years now, if I'm not mistaken. And with six years now, they have still not won the English Premier League. That is, that is very serious. In the likes of playing good football, but then the mentality, the character, I still don't see this Arsenal team as winning a trophy, especially when they were leading the league table and having their main opponent, Liverpool, drop points. I was expecting Arsenal to go into the match as a do-or-die time for the team to score Aston Villa. But at the end of the day, Aston Villa scored them 2-0 at their own Emirates Stadium. They still have a couple of matches more, but I still see Arsenal fumbling like what they did last season. Going to Liverpool, Joko said something about Liverpool, and I think it's something that we need to look into. Liverpool has lost their mentality for the past couple of weeks. Yes, Liverpool are able to create a lot of chances, but their scoring goals has been a big issue for Liverpool. Their front attacking trio has been very terrible. The likes of Salah, the likes of Darwin Nunes, the likes of Luis, they can create in a match maybe 20 chances and at the end of the score one that is really terrible for a team who wants to win the english premier league the same thing happened to them when they lost to crystal palace it dumping their spirits next to the europa against atlanta atlanta rider came home and scored liverpool on ground soil it shows how devastated or how broken the liverpool team is i am hoping that they will fight for club till the end but then i think the team is broken and they will need time to recover now coming back to the league leaders already you don't give my city that that opportunity when it comes to the last the last curve of the season is that the time that's why that time shows who is the boss and that is when man city actually starts to win matches over and over again they don't stop because once they see the tip of the trophy it's like i'm gonna get it and i see them doing the same thing the only match that will disturb man city and when their last features is Tottenham. You know, for the past four seasons, Tottenham has really, really disturbed Man City. And with losing out to the Champions League, losing out to a lot of leagues, I think the only league left for them, aside at tomorrow's game with Chelsea, is the Premier League. So, I'm sure they are going to try as much as possible to fight for it. And I see them winning. Oh, I would take Arsenal to win this league. Yes, it's, it's, <laughs> I would take Arsenal to win this league. The topic is who is winning the, 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 the EPL. I would tip Arsenal. Probably you guys will be surprised why I'm tipping Arsenal. Why? Arsenal 
Um, I feel they have the potential, but definitely they need they need some growth. And probably this last two matches or this Champions League experience they've had and the disappointment they went they had against Aston Villa because of that, I feel Ateta can awaken something from the players. I also tip Arsenal not losing any. I don't see Arsenal has tough matches as compared to the the teams that have tough matches among these three. Liverpool has the most tough matches. I think Liverpool is playing Fulham after they have probably. Tottenham or West Ham, they have these three teams. So I think three tough teams in the rest of the games. And City only has, I think, Tottenham as their top team in to play. Arsenal also has one or two matches which are tough. I have made, I've checked that and per my analysis, per what I'm saying is Liverpool that has the most tough, tough matches. So Liverpool, I don't see them making it because the games coming up is going to really affect them. But Arsenal, I can see they can pick up the pieces and learn their lesson from just this little storm that came to pass by and build on that to to win the rest of the games. City, I hope so on City. Her history, City at this time of the league with a point, even if a point at the top of the table, they go ahead to win it. But I feel they might slip somewhere. They might slip somewhere. Here comes Gajula. He might slip somewhere again based on tactical because I I don't know if you guys have noticed he's, he's struggling between using Grealish and Doku. Yeah. He's struggling between using Grealish and Doku. And on the other wings, sometimes he's putting silver there. Sometimes he's also throwing fold, uh, folding there. And I don't know he's going back to trying to use Grealish. Then probably he'll switch up and bring Doku. But for the two, they are both special in their own way. But I think based on this kind of things, he, he's going to, based on the overthinking culture of Pep Guardiola, thinking and overthinking things and making, just mixing up plays, business because he has so many superstars. So I think City might flop some, at some point of the season, the remaining matches and Arsenal will come top. Believe me, we will come back here. Okay. Because of Doku and Greenwich. Yeah. Okay. So um, do you agree? That wait, wait, wait. Will... I, I, I didn't just mention Doku and Grealish. I also mentioned the other end. And also, I came back to the fact that the formation, sometimes it's formation, I don't know what he's trying to do. Sometimes you don't know what Gajula is trying to do because you feel like he just has the players. You know, he's been lucky that he always has the quality around him. So if he tries to shuffle some things, most most of the time, the players, because of their individual brilliance, they produce results. But I feel Gajola, right? One test I have for him, if he passes that test, I can call him, if not the best coach I've ever seen. He has not, I've not seen him hold an average team or build an average team to win clubs or to win championships. So that is the only part of Gajola I want to see because he always has the players around him. They always pump the money on him. Every, I think, every I think. coach has his philosophy. Let's not go there. Let's not yeah, go there. Yeah, that's 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 Let's not go there. What I, what I was asking is, with all the three teams, they have Tottenham to play. Yeah. Do you think Tottenham will decide the league title? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Sam Tottenham is not a team to joke with. I'm telling you, Tottenham is. They have a squad, a really strong squad. They just need. I don't know. This along the season they were proving, but if they went down along the line, but I feel they they are going to decide the league. Sam, your view on that? Yeah. So. Tottenham this season has been really good and has been really bad. I think they started the season very well, but with injuries too, they became inconsistent. And so far, the last game they played against Newcastle, and Newcastle really demolished them by four goals to zero. Now, judging with the rest of the team, I think Liverpool has an upper hand on Tottenham. Tottenham hates us now, and Tottenham has an upper hand on the City. But then, as I said, situations changes whenever the title is nearer. That is when yeah. you see that the spirit of Man City. That's one thing I think my friend Simon has forgotten. When Man City smells the trophy, it's like it's like it's a drag for Man City. So I see Tottenham rather disturbing us now. But City and Liverpool will pull through. City and Liverpool will pull Yeah, we'll pull through. But, but Arsenal yeah. might lose against Tottenham. That's what you're saying. And because Arsenal Tottenham is a derby. It's a local <laughs> derby, London derby for sure. So I, you can't determine. I, I, I agree with you. It, 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 that's why I said that based on previous, their history, when it gets to this stage, they don't lose. They don't joke. But you they can't go back. back. You can't go. You already choose Arsenal. So No, I'm not choosing City. I'm just saying that what he's saying, I agree with him. But I feel <laughs> he's going to he's okay. going to flip along the line. I feel City is going to slip. And Arsenal will be the one to you know to to 
to show that mentality this season. So let's see what the season holds for us, the rest of the season. How many games do we have left? I think six or seven. Yeah. Some have six, some have seven, some have eight. So eight. I and think. all right, guys, we come to a conclusion of our discussion. And thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much for coming on board. And guys, if you just join us, thank you for watching. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscription button. And hey, this exciting like, moment like. will be coming on board as usual. So, Sami, your last. Uh, West or your last summary then we just so <laughs> to all the fact that clear point you're gonna score them and also to the city yeah but I'm happy that my fellow person who is a Madrista has admitted defeat to Barca so yeah vamos mm. this weekend as the the Barca the Catalonian said um this is really packed with so many highlights coming up. So to the classical side, it is what it is. It's Santiago Bernabeu. And whoever represents is going to perform. That is what I have to see. And on the Premier League side, Arsenal. Watch out for Arsenal. Arsenal is coming back. Arsenal is going to pull a surprise this season. So let's see what, what is ahead of us. Let's see what is ahead of us. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for coming on board and your time too because here it's not easy to get that kind of time. That's why maybe so please thank you so much and then see you guys on the other side.